Heart attacks and strokes are sometimes the result of other underlying problems in your body. There's a common disease that many suffer from, and there's a new treatment. Dr. Jeff Carr is here to talk about PAD. So what exactly is PAD, and how common is it? Well, PAD it stands for peripheral arterial disease, and it's a very common problem. Up to 14 million people in the U.S. have this problem. And it's essentially plaque buildup on the inside walls of the arteries of the leg arteries or the arm arteries. Is there any kind of an obvious symptom that you would, uh, that you would see that would tell you about this? Sure, and as the plaque builds up and narrows, it restricts blood flow to the legs, and so it supplies blood flow to the muscles, and therefore you would have a cramping or fatigue or pain in the legs with walking, usually with walking. So what are some of the treatments for PAD? Well, we've had bypass surgery for a long time, and there are medications. Uh, balloons and stents are available, but they have problems with re-narrowing. Mm -hmm. There are newer devices with lasers and atherectomy that actually remove and shape out the plaque, but we're very excited that we have a brand new device to treat our toughest problems. Mm -hmm. These problems are particularly tough in the lower part of the legs below the knees where they can be very hardened and calcified. And this new device called a Diamondback device, sure, Diamondback yeah. 360, is designed just for that, to actually sand away the most difficult blockages. So how does this yeah. thing work? Well, it actually, on the tip of this device, uh -huh. has diamond microchips, and it's coated on this outside, just like uh, sandpaper. And you can see this, as we advance the device, uh -huh. it spins, almost like a belt sander, so to speak. Wow. So it shaves out the calcium, the hardest portions of the plaque. And as we increase it the speed, it creates a bigger opening. And it's designed perfectly for the most difficult, hard, and almost bone-like blockages. That's, That's incredible. That is. It's how almost it like a plumber's to, tool. I know, how long That's does it right. take for you to train on this? Uh, well, not too long to train on it. I've had a lot of experience with other it? tools. I've had this for about eight months now. Wow. How long does a procedure like that take? Well, it can take about an hour to do the procedure. It's a minimally invasive procedure. It's just the small incision at the groin, and they usually go home and are back to normal by the next day. That's unbelievable. Yeah. In really comparison is. to the bypass surgeries that you That's were talking right. about. That's right, longer recovery and wow. a little bit more pain. That's now, incredible. So uh, where can people go for more information on this? Yeah. Well, there, uh, on the website, there's our phone number uh, that they can be referred uh, by their primary care doctor, can refer to this to um, ask about this device and see if it's appropriate for them. And the main thing is that they really get screened and learn if they actually have this process. And detect it early is always the best. So if you'd like more information, you can visit our website, cbs19.tv, and there we've got all the information that Dr. Carr was talking about as far as the phone number and the website. You can find out also more information on PAD itself and how to treat the condition. That's right. You like these new toys, don't yeah, you? I know they're cool. They're very cool. <laughs> Dr. Carr, thank you very much. We appreciate it.